Number nine, a defibrillator passes 12 amps of current through the torso of a person for 0.01 seconds. How much charge moves? All right, so we know the current that is flowing, right? They tell us 12 amps. Remember, an amp is the same thing as the coulombs per second, or the number of coulombs passing through a particular point per second. We also know the time, right? That the time that this current is passing is 0.1 excuse me, 0 0.01 um, seconds. And then we need to find then the amount of charge that is flowing through. So if you know that 12 amps, in other words, 12 coulombs per second are flowing through a particular point, and you know the time that that charge is flowing through that particular point, then I think you might be able to figure out how to calculate the charge. In case that doesn't make sense, you can always memorize the formula that current is equal to the change in charge divided by the change in time. So if I have to find the charge, just simply do a little cross multiplication here. So the change in the charge is gonna be equal to the current multiplied by the change in time. So if I have to find the amount of charge, right, it's the same thing as the change in the charge, that really doesn't matter, just plug in the value. So this is 12 multiplied by the time, which is 0 0.01, and then we're gonna get a value of 0 0.12, 0 0.12 coulombs. Okay, probably another zero there, I guess, for sig figs, but who cares? Who cares? So letter B. Letter B. Let it be. I'm not, I have no idea what just happened. How many electrons pass through the wires connected to the patient? So remember, if you know the total amount of charge, you can find the number of electrons because you know that 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs is the charge of one particular charged particle, be it electron or be it a proton, right? So since we know that each electron or each charged particle has this amount of charge, and this is the total, how do you think you'd find that out? Good. That sounds correct to me. Even though I didn't hear you, it sounds right. We can always just do a little dimensional analysis if it's a little confusing. Coulomb on the bottom, number of electrons, right, or whatever, on the top. And we know that for every single electron, there's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And notice it's a division that's, that's actually, that's exactly what you said, right? So all we got to do is do the math. So 0 0.12 divided then by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And we get a value of about 7.5 zero, I guess, times 10 to the 17th number of electrons. Voila. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Smash that like button, and we will see you in the next problem. Take care.